All right, everyone, the Postal Gamer here. Welcome to my Mind Thrower only run of Resident Evil 4. Quick note before we get started here, I assume that some of you watching this are here from youtube.com slash thegamemaster, which is my previous channel. And for those who are not, back in 2008 on that channel, I uploaded a playthrough of this game that was overall pretty fucking awful, let's be honest here. There were two parts of it that I forgot to render, so people missed things like the canyon fight. I had bronchitis the entire time. I was lucky my PC was powerful enough to even run the game, let alone record it, especially on that piece of shit 2007 PC port. But whatever the case, I hope you'll stick around because this run is going to be a doozy. And for it to work, I have a safe file prepared in advance. Throughout this run, I didn't upgrade my attaché case, and I didn't use a yellow herb, which lets me effectively play a new game with all of the bells and whistles of New Game Plus. And on top of that, I'll be using a trainer for this game that lets me reload without consuming ammo, and there will be a link to that in the description. Although, be warned, you do have to pay for it. There's a few other things that I have to mention as well, but as I get to them, I will talk about them. First one being how painful it was to sell the Blacktail just then. Never gets any easier. So I'll grab the Mind Thrower, I'll also grab the Rifle. I'll have the Rifle as a backup weapon, in case there are any areas which I feel are impossible with the Mind Thrower, or that I can't do without having to, for example, sell the Mind Thrower back to the Merchant and then buy it back again to reduce the firepower to its minimum level. I'm thinking the water room is going to be one such case, the bulldozer ride, the minecart ride, I'm not sure yet, I haven't been to any of those areas, but in the event that I would have to sell the mine thrower back to the merchant to reduce the firepower, or if it's just outright impossible with the mine thrower, or just takes way too long, I guess I'll put a time limit on, a bleh, a time limit on myself for that, maybe like half an hour for my patience to run out, then I'll break out the rifle. I've also got the checkpoint trick in mind, in which you get partway through an area, Go back out the way you entered, enter through a load screen, and it effectively saves your progress, and if you die, you don't have to do the whole room. So, let's activate the trainer, Activated. and get some target practice, and get some target practice, and get some target, there we go. Um, you survived that. Cool. Don't fly towards me. Don't, mm -mm. All right. Cruising for a bruise in that buster. Now, because this is a challenge run, I'll be skipping all the cutscenes in the game. If you guys want to check those out for yourself, I'd recommend checking out either a long play on YouTube, or better yet, buying the game for yourself. I'm playing, just for reference, the Ultimate HD edition of Resident Evil 4 on Steam. I've also thought about some other things that I want to do in this run too. For example, how I'm going to handle using the knife, using physical attacks, upgrades, that sort of thing. And I guess the nutshell version is, I'll only use the knife to break open crates, barrels, pots and such to kill snakes. I'll use physical attacks freely, and after every second subchapter, I'll throw in an upgrade to the mine thrower. This might change, or well, the upgrade part might change, that's for sure. But everything else I think is going to be fairly set in stone. I don't even plan to use the knife against Krauser, if that tells you anything. Oh, wow, the first huh, the first group dropped mine darts. I'm okay with that. I've also got a sub-objective in mind in which I just collect as many mine darts as I possibly can throughout this whole run. There's no actual reason for me to do this. It's just an extra fun side thing that I wanted to do. So hopefully by the end of the game, future me will remember to keep track on that. Probably not, let's be honest here. This is me we're talking about. If you're new to the game, I recommend killing that crow on the right. It will drop a hand grenade every single time, and hand grenades are very useful against the second boss. Also, make sure to free the dog. Not like this. Don't do it like this. You'll piss off Peter. La 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 Truth be told, the boss that that dog shows up for probably won't survive long enough for him to show up. The first boss fight doesn't really change though, unfortunately, so I'll have to take that one normally. No, you're a Forestero. I haven't really even put in any thought yet about some of the bosses and some of the areas in this game, because I know the minecart ride and bulldozer ride are just going to be shit, they usually are by default. The minecart ride isn't so bad, but the bulldozer ride oof, is just dicks. I'm expecting that some areas of the game are going to catch me by surprise and just be ridiculously difficult. I'm sure you guys can't wait for that. As I exhale dramatically. <laughs> 
Now you, sir. Might as well use the mine thrower to blow up some crates. Not like I'm gonna run out of ammo. I'll also be doing something a little bit different to, at the very least, see how it goes. Every time I finish a sub-chapter, I'll end the episode. So that gives me a little bit more wiggle room to work with in case maybe something comes up and I've got, say, one and a half chapters, something comes up, that kind of thing. We'll see how it goes. I'll make it a bit more seamless. Make sure to grab that extremely important super green super herb from that super log pile. And there's a red herb here. Which I will admit- oh my god, the inventory. Ew. Okay, I need to sort this out. I don't plan on using grenades throughout this run, so I'll just discard any of those that I pick up. Hang on, my thumbs are confused. One second. <laughs> Under normal circumstances when I go through this area, I consider this area to be effectively failed if I can't kill both Dr. Salvadors. Now, obviously this run isn't normal, so I don't really care about that as much as I usually would, but I will give it the good old college try. Are you going to explode? There we go. You missed me. Haha. -ha. Can you knock it off, people? Owie. I heard Salvador die, and <laughs> there's the, uh, you're halfway through the fight. Thought alarm. I couldn't think of the phrase. That'll do. Swing at me. Oh, throw that. That's cool too. Whoa, people. Okay, cool. Alright, let's get in here. Ignore the shotgun. Ignore the hand grenade. Grab the money. Dive through these people's faces. Ah, oh, he tanked. Ow. Ow, stop that. Actually, while I'm here, I'll grab the yellow herb so I can grab a little bit of that extra health. Hopefully no one stabs me from behind while I'm grabbing this. Okay, got away with it. I'll grab that red herb a bit later. I'm under a little bit of pressure right now. You may have noticed. I hear you to my left. Don't do it. Stop doing it. You're doing it. You're continuing to do it. I disapprove of you doing it. Owie. Bail. Invincibility frames, losers. More mind dots. I'm okay with this. Chicken egg. Almost got stabbed. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, got away with it. Ah. Is it going to end? Please end. Ah, oh, thanks shit. Truth be told, that actually went quite well. <laughs> I know that I'm currently bleeding everywhere, but that went pretty well. Got a lot of mind darts too. I'm surprised that I got that many. No, no. Egg, come here. Alright, good. I don't think I have a reason to really loot any of these areas, in fact. If you're new to the game, I'd recommend going in there, breaking the padlock on the next door, and holding up in there with a shotgun. But I do not have that option, and with how I've been playing lately, the only way that I can really kill the Dr. Salvadors in this area is by just going balls out. It's risky. I have been killed in the past doing it, but 20,000 Pesetas is quite nice. That unforastero sounded unusually stereo. Are you guys okay? Do you need a hug? Ooh. Right in the elbow. How do you like that? I see ammo. Is it mine darts? I think it might be. No, it's rifle ammo. Now I'm sad. Also, this works. Nobody panic. If that lands in the water, you'll get a dirty pearl pendant, which is only worth, I believe, 3,000 pesetas. Uh, 
uh, any chickens laying any eggs? Because, you know, could use a pick-me-up. Might want to make a nice omelette. You never know. Oh, by the way, almost forgot. Did you guys know? Um, cheers for that. Did you guys know that there's a, a barrel here with an incendiary grenade in it? Behind this little hut? Because I didn't. And you would think that I would know about this barrel containing incendiary grenade in this hut because, well, behind the hut. Because I've played through this game about 35 fucking times. And you'd think I would have found it by now. But, nope, totally went past my radar. Didn't find out about it until quite a number of years after. I'm not salty, you're salty. As I just angrily stomp my way out of that area in rebellion. I'm trying to hold the microphone, well, to hold the controller away from the microphone so you guys can't hear the furious fapping and the onset of carpal tunnel syndrome. Did it work? I have actually died during that dodge animation before. I believe it was the second boulder trap, but it has happened. I was not very pleased. Now, usually what I do here is aim a handgun shot at that first guy's stick of dynamite. Ah, oh. and I usually ignore the second guy that I just headshotted because shooting the dynamite from his hand, or out of his hand, is just a little bit too difficult to do. There is a bear trap around here, I know it. Um, okay, cool. That got a little close. I appear to be unable to shoot the dynamite out of the air. I know I can do that with bullet weapons. Alright, cool. Good to know. I'm not really even going to go for any treasures in this playthrough either because, I mean, I just don't have any need for them. Sir, do you have a permit for that explosive? That is extremely dangerous. Put that out. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation, sir. I'm confiscating this too. Massive hypocrisy of me using the mine thrower and <laughs> that guy with dynamite. Mm, it burns. Pro tip for shooting the trip mines that are just around this next corner. I'd recommend using something like the handgun to do it. The Punisher is uh, unusually ideal. <laughs> what you do here is hold down aim and shoot. What'll happen is Leon will fire before his aim has a chance to get wobbly and you'll hit these trip wires every single time. I don't think it works with the TMP without stock. I believe it works with all forms of the handgun. And if you're feeling extra insane, I mean, the rocket launcher won't hurt. But that's the end of chapter 1-1, so I'm going to end this session here. I'll make these outros and intros more seamless in the future and see how I go with them, see how much I like them. But for now, I think I'll play on the nostalgia a little bit here. Thank you all very much for watching. And goodbye.